Alright, buckle up folks. We are about to embark on a thrilling journey into the whirlwind of vertigo. But don't fret, we've got our seatbelts fastened and our hands firmly on the wheel. We won't let you spin out of control. Vertigo, as you may know, is that dizzying sensation that makes you feel as though you or the world around you is spinning. It's like being on a merry-go-round that just won't stop. It can be disorienting to say the least and can make simple tasks seem like monumental challenges. But what if I told you that this spinning sensation could be due to something as simple as a vitamin deficiency? Yes, you heard that right. We're going to delve deep into the labyrinth of the human body and explore the main vitamin deficiency that causes vertigo. Now, you might be thinking, a vitamin deficiency? Really? I thought vertigo was caused by issues with the inner ear or the brain. And you're not wrong. But sometimes, the root cause of a problem isn't immediately apparent. It's like peeling an onion. You have to remove layer after layer to get to the core. And in the case of vertigo, one of those layers is a deficiency in a particular vitamin. So, which vitamin are we talking about? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. We're just getting started on this dizzying journey. And trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming up next. So, hold on tight. Keep your eyes on the horizon and let's dive headfirst into the whirlwind of vertigo. Why does vertigo happen? But first, let's talk about calcium crystals that reside in the labyrinth of your inner ear. This calcium crystal is a tiny microscopic entity, invisible to the naked eye, but oh so crucial to the delicate balance of our body. This calcium crystal nestles comfortably in the intricate structure of the inner ear. It's surrounded by a complex network of tiny hairs, fluid-filled canals, and delicate membranes. This is its home, where it contributes to the body's sense of balance and spatial orientation. But then one day, something unexpected happens. It gets dislodged. Maybe it was a sudden movement, a jolt, or just the body's natural wear and tear. Whatever the cause, it starts floating around, unanchored and free. This is where the fun begins at least from the calcium crystal's perspective. Suddenly, the world starts spinning, even though you're standing still. This disorienting sensation is what we call benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV for short. It's a condition characterized by brief episodes of mild to intense dizziness, often triggered by specific changes in the position of your head. The role of vitamin D in vertigo, a deeper dive. Now, you might be wondering, why on earth would a calcium crystal do such a thing? Well, it's not doing it to be mean, it's just lost and confused. And the reason it got dislodged in the first place might have something to do with a vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, plays a crucial role in our body. It's like the maestro of a grand orchestra directing the absorption of calcium and phosphate from our diet, nutrients that are vital for healthy bones, teeth, and muscles. But what happens if the maestro is missing, or there's not enough of it? The music becomes discordant, and in our body's case, calcium can get lost and end up in places it shouldn't be, like the inner ear. Now let's imagine our body as a bustling city, and calcium as the tourists visiting the city. In a well-functioning city, there are tour guides, vitamin D, that help the tourists, calcium, navigate the city, ensuring they visit the right places, bones and teeth, and avoid the areas where they cause trouble, soft tissues and organs. However, when there's a shortage of tour guides, vitamin D deficiency, the tourists, calcium, can get lost, causing chaos in the city, our body. In the context of vertigo, this chaos manifests as calcium crystals getting dislodged and ending up in the inner ear, causing a disruption in the delicate balance mechanism in our ear, leading to the spinning sensation characteristic of vertigo. The complexities of vitamin D deficiency, unraveling the intricacies. Vitamin D deficiency is a global health issue affecting millions of people worldwide. It's not just about getting less sunshine or not consuming enough vitamin D rich foods. The issue is far more complex and multifaceted. Vitamin D deficiency can occur for various reasons. Some people may not consume enough vitamin D rich foods, while others may not get enough sunlight exposure, which is crucial for our skin to produce vitamin D. 
Certain health conditions can also affect the body's ability to absorb or process vitamin D, leading to a deficiency. Moreover, individual genetic factors can also play a role. Some people may have a genetic variation that affects the vitamin D receptors in their body, meaning that even if they have enough vitamin D in their blood, their body may not be able to use it effectively. This complex interplay of dietary intake, sunlight exposure, health conditions and genetic factors makes vitamin D deficiency a challenging issue to address. However, understanding these complexities is the first step towards finding effective solutions and preventing conditions like vertigo caused by dislodged calcium crystals in the inner ear. Understanding Vitamin D Receptors – A Deeper Dive Before you sprint off to your doctor's office demanding a vitamin D test, let's take a moment to understand the complexities of vitamin D in our bodies. Yes, it's true that people with benign paroxysmal positional vertigo BPPV, often have lower levels of vitamin D. But like a plot twist in a mystery novel, it's not always as straightforward as it seems. Some individuals might have a perfectly normal level of vitamin D in their blood, but still face issues due to their vitamin D receptors. Picture this, you're at a concert with a backstage pass, that's your vitamin D. But the security guard, the vitamin D receptor, doesn't let you through. Frustrating, right? This means that even though there's enough vitamin D in your blood, it's not getting into the cells where it's needed. It's like having a key but a jammed lock. This receptor issue is a bit like having a great Wi-Fi signal, but your device just won't connect. The signal is strong, that's your vitamin D level, but the device, the cells in your body, just aren't picking it up. This can lead to a deficiency at the cellular level, which is where the real action happens. The solution, vitamin D and K2 supplements. Not all heroes wear capes. So, what's the game plan? How do you tackle this vertigo-inducing villain? Well, you could start by taking vitamin D supplements, but don't just grab any old supplement off the shelf. You need to be a bit of a detective here. Look for a supplement that also contains vitamin K2. Why vitamin K2, you ask? Well, vitamin K2 is like the traffic cop for calcium. It directs calcium out of places it shouldn't be, like your inner ear, and into places it should be, like your bones. It's the unsung hero in our vertigo story ensuring that calcium doesn't go rogue and cause trouble. Taking a supplement that combines vitamin D and K2 can be a game changer. It's like getting a VIP pass and a friendly security guard who lets you backstage without any fuss. The vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium, and the vitamin K2 ensures the calcium goes where it's needed. Therefore, understanding the role of vitamin D receptors and the importance of vitamin K2 can be crucial in managing vertigo. It's not just about the levels of vitamin D in your blood, but also about how well your body uses it. So, the next time you're shopping for supplements, remember to look for the dynamic duo of vitamin D and K2. They might just be the superheroes you need to keep your world from spinning out of control. A tip for taking supplements. And here's a little tip. Instead of taking your vitamin D and K2 supplements every day, try taking a larger dose once a week. This is because both of these vitamins are fat-soluble, which means they get stored in your body and released slowly over time. Conquering Vertigo So, there you have it. The main vitamin deficiency that causes vertigo is a lack of vitamin D. But it's not just about how much vitamin D you have in your blood. It's also about how well your body is able to use it. So, make sure you're getting enough vitamin D. And don't forget about vitamin K2. They're the dynamic duo that can help keep your world from spinning out of control. And remember, while vertigo can make you feel like you're on a never-ending merry-go-round, it's not a death sentence. It's just a sign that your body needs a little extra help. So take it easy, get plenty of rest, and make sure you're getting the right nutrients. Your body will thank you. But before we wrap up, I've got a little favor to ask. Don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing content. We appreciate your support, and we're always working hard to bring you the latest and greatest in health and wellness. Thanks for watching. Remember to always take care of yourself and make informed choices about what you put into your body. We'll see you in the next video.